I want to talk to you about how to use Tmux. This is a tool that has saved me a lot of time over the years and it is very hard to get started with but once you've got a few commands under your belt it starts to really make sense and I want you to start benefiting from it too. So let's go into my terminal. I'm recording my screen right now and we see I've got the Monokai theme here and I'm logged into my Mac Mini. Now, Tmux is a um, standard system utility and it's installed in on pretty much any Mac system, Unix system, Linux computer. And this is the man page for it. It's a terminal multiplexer enables a number of terminals to be created and accessed from a single screen. You can also detach from it and keep running in the background. Now that's what I'm going to show you today, just a few very quick hints. Now there's many things you can do with this, including splitting your terminals up into different chunks. Um, that's really cool, but that's for another session. So let's play a scenario. I'm going to log into my Intel Nook. And from there, I want to log into a bunch of Raspberry Pis to set up a, a cluster. Now, the thing is, some of these instructions will take a little while to run, and I don't want to shell into each one individually, so I'm going to use Tmux. Now, on the Intel NUC, typing, typing in um, Tmux and enter. You now see I have this colored bar at the bottom of the screen and bash zero and a zero here. Now. This works just the same as anything else um, that you've used. What we can do is uh, we type in control B question mark. We end up getting this man page up and it's super complicated and there's a ton of things on here. And really all we want are the basics. Now I happen to know some of these commands already. So I'm going to show you um, control A, control B, N, and P. Now these allow you to open two screens and go left to right, right to left, etc. And you can also access them by number. Now, what we see here is bind key minus T copy mode CN. I have no idea what that means, but I do know that if I hit control and B, and then anything on this side next to a C, that it will do this command over there. Right, so um, let's give that a quick shot. I'm going to do control B C to create a second window. Now I have bash zero and I've got bash one. I'm currently in bash one. So control B next N wraps us round and I can keep typing that in and I'm switching. So here's one, zero, here's one, control B N. I can actually go backwards, control B, P. And let's create a third window, control B, C again. And now I'm on window two. Now, if you have a bunch of these, a neat thing you can do is hit control B and then the number. So zero, control B, two again, and so forth. Now that is extremely useful when you have a bunch of these and you need to go through them sequentially. So let's do something practical now. Let's log into a Raspberry Pi that I have on my network. And I'm going to go to the next window, Control BN, K2 local. And I'm going to go to the next window, and so forth. Now I can hit Control B0, Control B1, and 2. And I see all the windows. And if I want another one to look something up on the internet or to debug something, I can do that as well. Now you may be wondering, um, what's the usefulness in this? Well, at any time I can minimize this session and come back to it later with all three still connected. That's really useful. The other thing this is really useful for is if you just have a single server to talk to and you've got a long running task. So you may be doing your um, apt updates right um, so let's try that At the same time I'm now going to go control B D and it says detached from session I'm going to log out of the Intel nook and I'm back to my main Intel um, Mac mini at this point in time 
I'm going to go back and see how we're getting on. So I'm going to type in to shell to the nook. And then I'm going to go tmux list sessions. Eventually, you can figure this out. Um, there's not a lot of help on here. Now it's showing me I've got three windows in session zero. I could open another tmux. If I just type this in, it doesn't reattach. It just opens a second one. Now I could detach that, and then I can pick between the ones I want to go into. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit Control D or type in exit to leave. What I really want to do is I want to attach to session zero, go back where we were. And look, we've updated our packages. We've got all three Raspberry Pis are still there. Control B next, N, Control B N next, and Control B P backwards. So we have been able to use Tmux to manage a remote session into all of our Raspberry Pis at the same time. We've been able to detach from that and come back later and also use it to run long running tasks. Now this is just really scratching the surface and there's far more that you can do. So please subscribe to the channel. I'd really love to do more of these. I just need your support. So hit that subscribe button and tell me what you'd like to see next.